I don't know why they call these things badges. I mean, they're not really badges, they're just dangly things. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host for The Toast, and I've just been south of the border in Seattle for Emerald City Comic Con, or should I call it Raycon 2016, because I lost count of how many people there were dressed as Ray. Now, Emerald City Comic Con is, I think, the biggest fan convention on the West Coast, and it's always a great time to go down there and geek out with thousands of like-minded people. Learn, laugh, leer, and line up to a full weekend and take advantage of all the convention has to offer. Although there is a good chance you won't fit it all in. Seriously, half my time there was spent trying to decide which celebrity panel I wanted to see because they're frustratingly held at the same time. One thing this convention has done better than any other convention I've been to is they have a warm-up personality. So between panels, if you're sitting there, you're not just waiting for someone to come out and start asking questions. This guy's out there leading people in dance and waves and really killing the time. <laughs> so props to you, Emerald City and Black Walmart entertainer guy who was actually pretty damn funny. Now the celebrity guests this year included James and Oliver Phelps, Nathan Fillion, Sean Astin, Eldon Hedson, Norman Reedus, Jim Lee, oh and of course John Bernthal the Punisher. But the standout for me had to be Nolan North, Nathan Drake himself. He's just charming, he's friendly, he's funny. I mean I got to talk to the guy for ages just listening to that amazing voice. Why are you never boy? I'm always buying the points, aren't I? Hey you! What's with the eye? You look stupid. That's rude. You shouldn't talk to him like that. Oh, let's find some chicks and get them naked. Stop it. That's my line. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> That's the great thing about signings. If they're done right and the celebrity is not a prick, then you get to have a conversation with the person and get to ask them some questions instead of just getting a Sharpie mark on a photo or a CG rendering. Nathan Drake! For example, if you see my Daredevil Season 2 review, I was complaining about the lack of Punisher Rampage at the end of the season. I got to ask John Bernthal why, why was there no Rampage, and I got an answer. He told me, like, oh, it was originally in there, he filmed it. But the producer said, no, this is the Daredevil show, not the Punisher show, and they cut his Rampage. But there was a reason he had the Gatling gun at the end. It was in there. And I got my answer, because I got a face-to-face -face talk with the guy. Keep in mind, those signings can make or break your opinion of a celebrity, so it's a slippery slope. I mean, I've been to places like, I don't want to name names, Cory <laughs> Weaver, but um, they can seem like a bit uptight. You can really make or break your opinion of them. Now, the convention floor itself is packed with overpriced merchandise and self-published writers, artists, and craftsmen. And if you don't like crowds, it's really not the place for you. If you can handle people, great. It makes the lineup so much easier if you can talk to people and really kill the time by just conversing and making friends. It also really helps for the convention as a whole because you're talking to people, you find out what's going on over the other side of the convention or later on in the day or meetups that are going on, and it's really informative. I mean, there are some socially awkward people that go to these conventions, but it's part of the culture. And honestly, I've never met anybody at a convention that I couldn't get along with. Oh, also, if you have a phobia of spandex bulges, then this might not be the place for you because there are a lot of them. Now, speaking of spandex costumes, cosplay has grown to an extreme degree, and it's a lot of fun walking around a convention playing Spot the Character or trying to figure out the crazy mashups that people have created. But if you've got a camera, there's nothing a cosplayer likes more than to pose for silly pictures, so have at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that. I ran so many races against Flashes while I was dressed as Quicksilver, and I won every one. I know in the comics, Flash is probably faster, but I was wearing runners, and they were wearing little yellow rubber booties. What do you think was going to happen? Now, I was planning on filming a lot more footage while I was there and doing some interviews and stuff, but there's just no time. The show floor is sensory overload, and you're constantly running from event to event, and there's just no time to shoot. But while you're doing all that running around on the show floor, you might get lucky, and you never know who you might run into. Hey everyone, this is Jeremy Johns. I don't know if you know him. He's not, he's small time, I'm big time. Yeah, but it's absolutely true. You'll, you'll make it, you'll make uh, it now. One day, I'm really hoping and praying. I'm basing it all on you, my friend. I, I appreciate you're it. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Big thanks to Jeremy Johns for taking the time to talk to me. It's great to see he's as upbeat in real life as he is in his videos, and it was a real high point of the convention for me. And I'll leave you with a brief montage of other high points of the convention that I did manage to get on film, and I'll sign off with a Jeremy Johns style punch. Cheers! <laughs> it's a Friday, so it's quiet. <laughs> Waiting for John Bernthal's autograph. He's up there. Okay, you, Frank Castle. Bye. Lando, where the hell were you during episode 7? I was with my bitches in Cold 45. This is why Kylo didn't have his Uncle Lando, and this is how, why he turned out white. Yes, Focus and bitches. Blame me. It's all my fault Kylo went back. Not the mother and father. I'm sorry I've subjected you to that. 
heard he was dead. Well, it's good news. Almost missed him. Hmm. Why? Huh? Why? For a Thanos. It's a little short for a Warcraft trooper. He's gonna make it like a true survivor. <laughs> Arthur! Arthur! There's fire everywhere! Laugh it up, fuzzball. Why is there an extended head in Seattle? The, that thing is creepy. So there's a train going by. A long, long train. I'm never wearing a low-key costume again to a convention. Not that low-key, I mean like subtle costume, because I miss getting photos taken of me every two seconds. I, this time I didn't get any photos really because I wasn't wearing anything big or impressive. And frankly, I miss the attention. <laughs>